Hey guys, Rex here from 3DayRespawn.com, and I'm here to show you a little bit of strategy for one in the chamber on Nuketown. Uh, one of my favorite maps. Haha. <laughs> um, and I'm going to show you, first thing I'm going to do here, and what I normally like to do is hang around in this front living room area. Um, part of the reason is because not very many people usually expect you to, to be here. The other part is that I've got a nice line of sight out the back window, and I can see a lot of the action that's going on because usually a lot of the action tends to gravitate towards the backyards where uh, the majority of the spawn uh, areas are. So I kind of got lucky on that guy because he should have had me. And uh, these two are, these two here are going to get in a little gunfight, so I'm going to take advantage and clean up the mess when they're done. And that's something I like to do, try and do a lot, is if a couple guys are in a fight, then I know that they're distracted, and I can go after them. And, and I should have had that guy, but a uh, little slip up there. Now, now I'm spawning out here, uh, out in the middle, and uh, I'm going to just hang back for a minute. I know that there's some fighting going on, and I'm not sure exactly where everyone is, so I'm going to hold on and just wait for something... Uh, something to happen. Now, I want to wait uh, until I know that either there's a fight going on or I can have a general idea of where uh, you know every everyone else is. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of sit back here. Um, I know if I uh, if I just head to the right there, then there's probably going to be somebody over by the yellow house that's going to that's going to pick me out off. So I want to uh, just be real careful here, and I'll just move forward real real carefully. Um, so one of the one of my strategies uh, that you'll notice is I generally tend to walk around in a crouch position, and that's because um, it you make no noise when you're in a crouch position, and uh, there are, because there are no perks in one in the chamber, um, anyone who's running is going to make noise, and anyone who's crouched is not going to make noise. There's no uh, there's no ninja or ghost or any of that kind of thing um, to use to hide from. So um, so I generally walk around in that in that crouch position unless uh, you know, unless I'm pretty sure that uh, either the enemy isn't going to hear me, or uh, or if I I'm just want to take a little bit of a chance and get to that next area really quickly. Um, and again, that's that's a, you know a little uh, moment there where I just kind of took a little bit of a chance. I broke the window, so I'm attracting some attention. Um, and you'll notice that most of the enemies and most people that play this are just going to run around, and because of that. Uh, I'm, I've got my uh, Triton AX Pro headset on here, and I can hear exactly when guys are coming. So there's a guy's going to come up the stairs here, and I'm going to know exactly where he is because I can hear exactly. So I'll, I'll know exa the exact right moment when to step out around the corner, and there he is. And I was ready for him because I could hear exactly where he was. And of course he couldn't hear me because even if I was moving, I was crouching. So um, back to my little nice little spot here. Um, a lot of times guys will just run right in that front door and run right by you if you're in this spot. Um, or at least they won't see you right away and that'll give you an, uh, a minute to, uh, to get a jump on them. Um, so you'll see in a, in a second here, I kind of got lucky with, uh, I just happened to catch a glimpse of, the, of a guy up the stairs here. Um, he almost got a jump on me if, if he had come down there when I was looking the other way. There we go. Then I would have, uh, he would have got me. So now, uh, now that it's down to me and one other guy here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play a little cat and mouse with this guy. Um, my intention here and what I want to do is just to kind of throw him off. Um, I want him to not be ready to engage when I engage him. Uh, I want to kind of just get the jump on him. And so I'm going to actually let him chase me around here a little bit. Uh, I'm going to keep him guessing as to where I'm going to be. I'm going to just make him think I'm just going to run around a lot. So he's watching my dot, following it around, and he's he's trying to get in a fight with me. So I'm gonna wait until the perfect moment, because I don't I don't want a 50-50 fight. I don't want an even fight. I wanna I wanna get the jump on the guy. I wanna I wanna outmaneuver him, and I wanna, um, you know, I'm, I just wanna out uh, out outflank, outlast. What is the uh, survivor motto? I can't remember. Uh, <laughs> so one one little trick that I like to do. Because he's watching my dot, um, he what I what I like to do is go to an area where there are two stories. Because if if I'm if I'm where I'm at right now, he doesn't know if I'm on the lower half or on the lower lower floor or the upper floor. So I'm going to use that to my advantage here in just a second, and I'm going to make him think that I probably went upstairs. He he probably saw my dot there on the stairway, and he probably thinks I'm upstairs. So he's just going to run right in the front door, and bang. 
And uh, there you have it. Uh, I hope that uh, helps you with uh, you, your uh, one in the chamber endeavors. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I also hope to see you online at uh, 3dayrespawn.com or on our YouTube channel.